In this video, we're going to do learning objective A, and we're going to solve an equation for a defined variable. And I want us to look at four different examples. This first one, let's take 5x plus 2y equals 7 and solve for x. So I'm going to look at the x value, which is right there. My goal is to isolate x and get it by itself. To do that, I have to get rid of the 5, and I have to get rid of the 2y. The easiest way to get x by itself is to work your way toward the x. Move everything around the x first. Start furthest out. 2y is the furthest out. So to get rid of a plus 2y, you would actually move it to the other side with a minus 2y. That would leave us with 5x equals 7 minus 2y. Now x is almost by itself. It's currently being multiplied by 5. To get rid of that, you're going to divide by 5. You're going to divide every term by 5. So this, that one, this one, and this one. So your answer is going to be x equals 7 over 5 minus 2y over 5. Now, how does the answer differ if they switch and want us to solve for the y value? Well, the y value is right there which means I have to get rid of the times the 2, and I have to get rid of the 5x. You work your way toward the variable you're trying to get by itself, which is y. So 2 is the closest to it, 5x is the furthest, so move the 5x first. This is a positive 5x, so to move that, I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides and write 2y equals 7 minus 5x. To get rid of the 2 that's being multiplied on the y, I just divide by 2 on both sides. Divide everything by 2. So when you simplify this, you're going to get y equals 7 over 2 minus 5x over 2. Now if you can match it up, you're going to end up seeing that this is the same, but in a slightly different order, of equation D. What equation D did is they moved the negative 5 halves x over first, and then in plus 7 halves. Let's practice this a little bit more. Uh, let's take this first equation and solve it for x. To get x by itself, I have to move this 2, and I have to move the 3y. The plus 3y is furthest out, so to get rid of plus, I'm going to minus 3y from both sides. That leaves me with 2x equals 9 minus 3y. To get rid of the 2, which is times by the x, I'm going to divide every piece by the 2. So I'm left with x equals 9 over 2 minus 3y over 2. The second one wants to get y by itself, which means we have to move the 3x and the negative 5. The negative 5 is the closest to the y. The 3x is the furthest out. That's what gets moved first. This is a positive 3x, so to move a positive 3x, the whole thing, you're going to have to subtract the 3x from both sides. So we have a negative 5y, don't lose the negative here in front of the y, equals 1 minus 3x. Now to get rid of the times the negative 5, I'm going to divide by negative 5 on every piece. That leaves me with y equals 1 over negative 5 minus, be careful, a 3x over negative 5. Now, this double negative we have here, we normally don't keep that. We would actually change it to a positive. So the final answer would be y, 1 over negative 5, plus 3x over positive 5. And that's our final answer.